All right, so this is what the printer looks like just sitting on the desk. It is quite large and very tall with the spool holder and the spool on top of it. So yeah, just keep that in mind that you will need the space for it. All right, so starting here on top, you guys can see how the spool holder holds the spool. Not my favorite kind of spool holder, I guess, but it does work. And I do like that it rolls on bearings, which makes it very smooth. And here we can see our filament detector that kind of swivels back and forth. And it seems to line up just right with the filament. Flipping the printer to the back side, we can see here what it looks like on the back pull holder mounted on these four bolts you guys can see the covers and then another little cover here to hold the wire and goes to the detector so yeah it turned out very nice and clean so this is our synchronization belt between the two leads everything is metal very nice with bearings for the leads going down from there I like the construction of everything. It's all metal and we have a brass bushing, but this piece here, the spacer is actually 3D printed, which is fine because it doesn't really do much, but we do have little bolts there that go into the print. So going down from there, we can see we got the coupler here with the motor and then the connection does use a plastic bracket, which we did have to tighten those little bolts on top, stop the motor from moving around. We can see our plugs that we plugged in, one down here, then the motor and then the ribbon cable on the front side. Now what's awesome is we get really large rails for the Y and the X. Very nice and impressive to see that. You guys can see that's the Y motor and it does move back and forth to tighten the belt and you loosen two bolts underneath to do that. Going back here to the top on our hot end, this bolt here locks in the tool head and it's a little bit hard to get to as it's kind of like doesn't have much grip. I wish it was a little longer maybe so you could reach it better but not too bad. So our rollers here nicely adjusted. Going down we can see this really cool design on the base. We've got these cutouts. Very interesting and very unique looking. So going all the way down you guys can see we've got a pretty thin profile very impressive for how large this printer is and again i love this it looks like cast maybe because i don't know how they do all these corners all in one piece because the whole thing is <laughs> pretty nice looking so it's probably stamped but in any case it's very nicely designed with very clean construction because it's all one piece. But yeah, here we have the input port for the power cable. It is fused with an on and off switch. And from the back, we got a cable that comes out and goes to the bed. Now I can't really tell if it's strained relief or not, but there's some kind of glue around it or rubber, but it seems like somewhat it is. And you guys can see that our bed is insulated, which is great. So let's go back to the front. In this corner here, we can see there's a nice little accent. And the theme of the printer is like an orange. So yeah, it looks really nice. So we got a junction box behind there is our x-axis motor and yeah everything nicely organized and our ribbon cable does come from here all around to the hot end and the other side plugs out of the junction box loops around and goes down and this is where we plugged it in so yeah on top here we can see the dual gear drive extruder so we already kind of looked at this earlier but yeah very nicely designed i love this little cover here with the tivo up logo our heat break fan here with the round style heat break heat block yeah everything seems to be nicely built and put together we also have a very large parts cooling fan that blows under the nozzle and also guys we do have a clear looks like bl touch style leveling sensor there and you can see the probe coming out we got a very large volume of 305 by 305 and 400 millimeters tall there's a sticker here on top that kind of tells us about how to install the ribbon cable like we did earlier so yeah make sure you pay attention to that but we do have a protector here over the bed let's go ahead and peel that so the bed itself is a perforated kind of finish. When the bed is hot, the model stick, and when it cools off, they should just pop right off. So yeah, we'll see how well that works. And going down, we saw that it is insulated. And what's great, it's all the way to the edges, which is gonna do really nice. And preheating our build platform quickly. And this is an AC bed, guys, and that's that little orange rubber that you see there. That's the heating element. So the frame does appear to be pretty good quality, and we get these nice little orange knobs to adjust the bed. There's some numbers on them, and nice quality, yellow springs and on the front we got the logo here and the screen which has a protector let's go ahead and peel that that came off pretty easy the screen is not too large 2.8 inch but you know it should be good enough to navigate the printer on the right side we got micro sd card input port usb port for the thumb drive and another port to connect to your computer from the printer with the cable that came with it and on this side here it's pretty clean nothing going on too much here and also our laser head attachment we will also try out once we get it all going and printing so yeah overall a very interesting and unique looking printer i do love the design of it it's quite unique looking and very futuristic